Hey all this is Chris with Home Diary and today I'm going to give you a more in-depth review of my wireless Apple CarPlay setup that I've got connected into my Android uh, head unit for the Lexus GX470. Um, if you've got an Android radio you should be able to do this so it doesn't have to be a Lexus uh, any Android I'll show you my setup here in a minute and uh, how it works okay so this is the android unit um i'm filming this on my ipad because i've got my iphone and i'm going to demonstrate that so uh let's go ahead i have been driving around this morning it's saturday so it's not a complete cold boot but you'll see you know if you're out and about doing errands running around um just kind of what the responsiveness is so I'll go ahead and turn it on i'm not starting the car completely but get the radio so you can see it's pretty quick if you shift it into reverse uh, it's got the backup camera I don't have any sensors um, so I don't know if actually those would show or not but that's kind of cool so um, you can see here right now nothing's happening but uh, because it's got the wireless CarPlay unit it does auto connect so there you go you see it's connecting it's trying to connect uh, found the device and what the way this works is you first have to connect it via Bluetooth and then it establishes a Wi-Fi connection um, Initially, I had a lot of problems with it connecting um, I don't know uh, Why uh, now here in this example, it's not connecting um, There it found the device it's going to try to connect again. Let's see what happens Okay, so there you go. Uh, it's got the music going. You can see I can control this with the steering wheel. I was driving in my car and I smelled a number five. I can uh, got mute with the uh, voice button there. So, so that works pretty well. Um, before I just did the most recent update, it was very spotty on connection, and then it would lose connection, and then this whole screen would go crazy it would have lines on it and it nothing would work and basically the way to fix that is you have to turn the car off and turn it back on so i complained to the retailer i bought it from uh, they ended up emailing me a download file for the most recent update so let me show you uh, how to get access to kind of the main menu of the box so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off um Right now, I'm just going to put it in airplane mode so it'll disconnect the wireless CarPlay, as you see there. So this is the main screen of the box itself. Um, and if you click this little cog icon, it's going to bring up the menu. So right now, I've got it for speed, um, iPhone mode versus a mirror mode, which is kind of a beta, uh, CarPlay mode automatic. So that way, every time I get in the car, it will try to connect automatically like you saw it do at the beginning there. Um, system icon, you can show either a Siri or an exit, which kind of goes out to the main screen. I kind of like the bigger button for Siri. It does work, you know, if you say, hey, Siri as well. Uh, driving position and down here, you see the software version. So I had a uh, 2019 or 2019.05. I think 19 before so they sent me this uh you know june 18th basically date um because i am connected to wi-fi i can check for updates and if there is an update you can actually update it over the air so it's you know kind of like a tesla in that regard you can do some over the air updates but you can see everything's up to date at this point um advanced settings if you go there um you can do some mirror iphone mirroring um you know, some of this other stuff, I'm just using the car microphone. The quick ball is this little um, ball that follows around. I don't like it. I have it off. I'm not sure what the whole point of that is. Um, and then you can have a little logo show. Uh, that is if you select the car exit mode instead of the Siri icon, it'll, I think, show the Lexus icon. So those are kind of the basic settings of the box itself. Um, and 
you know, obviously left driving for us, uh, those kind of things. So, um, I just kind of found it, you know, there's no instructions to any of this stuff. Um, if you want to try to connect a device, you just basically press and hold this and it'll try to reconnect as you can see here. Now, let me go ahead, put it back into normal mode from airplane mode. And you can see here, I've got uh, this little setup where it's a wireless fast charging pad and I just got it connected into my USB and I've got a little short uh, angled USB there. Um, I hid the wireless car play unit right up in here and I just got some 3M tape, taped that up and then uh, the way I've got it connected initially is I used one of the USB ports from the Android head unit and just put in a USB port instead of the cigarette lighter. So that works well, tucks it away. I did end up getting a little, uh, using a little cut tool and cut a channel so I could uh, put the cord down through there and still cover that up and you don't even know it's, it's there. I mean, I could tape it up further. I just really haven't tucked it away but uh this is the car link kit let me go uh get the box and i'll show you what that looks like okay so this is the box it's the car link kit i think is maybe how you say it um you know very minimal instructions it's you know from china uh bought it on aliexpress um amazon does sell the same same thing it's i think around eight ninety bucks uh, initially because of all the problems, I did complain and try to do a little dispute. Uh, and so actually what ended up happening was, uh, AliExpress gave me a $17 refund and because I now got the update and it's working, I went ahead and accepted it, but I, I view that my pay for my troubles here. So anyway, um, that's how that works. So you can see here, uh, it's not connecting and that's probably because... I had it on and then off, but let me just go ahead and I'll press and it'll try to re-scan here. And found the device and now it's connecting. So you can see how responsive it is. If I want to go to music, I had it on mute, so that's why you didn't hear it. Um, you can go to the little white icon there. You can see all the various uh, menu items. And these are all the apps that have some kind of CarPlay component to it. Here you can see I've got the Siri button, so um, you can show kind of the car menu or the Siri. So. I thought that would be better, you know, hi Siri. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, you can see right here, I've got the car, or my phone battery indicator right about there. Um, now if I reposition it so it's charging, you'll see it goes away. So that's kind of nice to know. Uh, is it charging or not? If it shows the battery, it's not charging. I don't have, didn't have it quite placed on the, the magnetic charger. Um, but, you know, it's pretty responsive. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm touching the buttons, going to Google, Waze. Maps. So I've kind of organized this, um, you know, where kind of my phone and music up here and then navigation help there and then other stuff. And you can move this around in the iPhone menu. So if I go to my iPhone, uh, go into settings and then under general, uh, there should be a CarPlay option there. And... I actually have two CarPlay units, one for this, and then I put one in my 2011 Audi. And I'll go ahead and show you that as well, uh, just to show you what that looks like. But this is the Lexus. And so you just uh, can reorganize here. So 
you know, if I wanted uh, Spotify, for example, on the second page, you just, you know, press and hold and I'm done. So now you'll see Spotify right there. So works pretty good. Um, you know, the Siri works pretty well. Hey, Siri. Uh, navigate to Starbucks. Now, I think the default is it, it's going to go to the Apple Maps. So um, I don't know if the future update will have, a, you know, a way to pick your own nav. Yeah, so there is a there is an update coming to Apple CarPlay. Uh, it's going to have a little bit better interface, kind of a dashboard, those kind of things. So again, when that comes, my assumption would be, you know, I can update this unit just over the air. Uh, worst case is I have to just plug in a, a USB port down uh, at the end of the, the dongle. Uh, you, call it, you can see the USB port right there. Um, it does, in theory, support a wired uh, connection. I have not actually tried that with this update. Um, when I tried it before, it didn't work. So I can't opine onto that. Now, I do have, um, this is the wired version of it that I had before. Um, so you can see it's the, the CarLink kit wired, and that actually worked pretty well, but I just deemed it a pain in the ass to have to plug it in every single time. So that's why I've got the wireless uh, set up here with the charging and then uh, wireless purpose. Uh, let me give you another little quick tour of my other setup. So this head unit has two USB ports. So one port I put in here where the cigarette lighter was. And then I already had kind of a hole drilled for uh, when I had a, an iPad or an iPod um, connector that really never worked well. So I just had them run the wire here. And then I've got a four port USB hub, as you can see, so I can uh, turn it on or off if I want. I've got an extra cord here. So that's kind of where I had the wired CarPlay and that seemed to work okay. Um, and then I, have a TPS TPMS monitor for my tires here. So if I go back, um, let me just show you the home screen. Here's a little theme you can add. Um, basically, whenever you're connected to CarPlay, it kind of overwrites this, but you can see I've got tire pressure monitoring now on this 2003 Lexus. And I'll just show you quickly how that was done. So one, you need that USB connector. And then two is it came with these little things you just put on the end of your wheel. So, rear left, uh, that's the front left. And so it knows based on those identifiers, you know, uh, what's the location and you can see that it, it was monitoring. So again, um, at some point, CarPlay kind of takes back over because you are connected, which, you know, I guess is fine, um, given the whole point of CarPlay is, you know, is bigger buttons, uh, a more simplified interface. So if you want to use, you know, your other apps or go to internet or whatever, uh, you need to disconnect from CarPlay. And because it's wireless, um, you know, you either uh, turn off your Wi-Fi, but if you're on the road, you're going to be using your hotspot, those kind of things. So um, <laughs> you can see again, it, it's taken over. So I don't know if the future Apple CarPlay will have a way where you can multitask. I know uh, one of the, the new features of that will be that you can actually do stuff off of, on your phone and not mess up CarPlay. So if you're playing music, you can go to your phone and, and do whatever you want. Uh, whereas right now it kind of, they're kind of synced together. Um, you know, because basically CarPlay is, it is a, a UI interface, but um, it's really leveraging your mobile device in the functionality there and projecting it up here. It doesn't really have 
you know, all the code to, to run the apps in the device itself. So anyway, a future update, I think will allow for better kind of multitasking, I guess is what you might call it, uh, and go from there. So anyway, um, it, it works uh, pretty well. You know, we've got Apple family music, so, uh, we can do that. Um, you know, you can download music obviously to your phone and it works pretty nice. That's how you get CarPlay in your 16-year-old Lexus. So despite the initial hiccups, uh, I think it's working pretty well now. I did the update probably three days ago, and my son's driving this car now, and he reported that it's actually working pretty well. So he, he didn't you know, scream and yell and complain. <laughs> so I, I view that as a, a pretty good start. I took it out this morning to the the post office and was going to go to Costco and those kind of things and had no problems, you know, connected within probably 20 seconds of me, you know, driving and it just starts, you know, the song wherever you left off. So I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up at this point. Initially I was uh, poo pooing the whole idea, even though it was wireless and I like that idea. It just does not work. So if you have this wireless unit, make sure you update to the June 18th update or, or later. Um, if you go to the check update and it's not there, contact the company you bought it from and see if they can give you the most recent update because that did fix all the issues that we had so far. So um, anyway, let us know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll try to put some links up as to where you can get some of the stuff as well. And always, uh, you know, don't forget about Home Diary. It's a tool for your home. Uh, we've got a iOS app. If you've got an Android device, you can use your phone and the mobile browser, or you can use any kind of computer or whatever. And it's got some great tools, including a 3D floor plan tool. So if you want to design a room, you can do that. If you've got, um, you know, like an appraisal sketch of your home, you can take a photo of that with your phone, upload it as a background image and trace over it. You scale one wall and you can create a two scale 2D and 3D floor plan for your home. So it's pretty cool. And some uh, you know, more exciting things will be coming down the road with that uh, app. So thanks for watching and please subscribe too because we've got uh, a lot of more content coming down the road. Thanks.